Welcome back to The Daily Grind, everyone. So today is a pretty cold day here in South Texas. It's 35 degrees, 36 degrees. Now it is the morning and it's gonna warm up a little bit, but we do have a major freeze coming. So as most of you guys know, pretty much entire country is gonna be hit, getting hit with a really cold storm. And we're gonna be getting down to like 16 or 17 degrees on Monday and Tuesday night, which is pretty warm compared to a lot of you, I know. Uh, most of the country is gonna be in the negatives, so uh, Fahrenheit. I hope and pray that every single one of you is uh, safe and, you know, if electricity goes out, make sure you guys have generators or whatever it is to be able to keep your family safe. I do have one and I'm gonna be preparing that and getting it ready in case we lose power, because it's possible. Yeah, I'm in Texas. We're not set up for cold. If you guys remember in 2020, uh, Texas got hit real hard and a lot of people lost power and even some people died from the cold because they just couldn't heat their house and we're just not set up for that. Um, our pipes are not are not really insulated because we don't get cold very often. What is normal in other parts of the country, like 19 degrees, <laughs> 18 degrees, 17 degrees, is very, uh, very dangerous here because you know, we're just, like I said, we're not set up for it here. Nearly three million customers without power this morning. You're looking at live pictures from Dallas. I am gonna be winterizing my garden. A lot of the veggies I have can handle this, uh, some cannot. Most of the veggies I'm growing currently right now though can handle this with a little bit of protection. So I'm gonna be doing some things to be able to protect my garden. Hopefully you guys can too, if you're in areas that you're still growing and you're, you know, it's not too late. I, I know this is probably coming a little late for a lot of you because it's already hit certain areas of the country and at, at least, but for us, um, it's not until Monday night. Um, if you're down kind of in the south where I'm at, you still have a little bit of time, uh, do it today. So one thing we can do is fill up some buckets of water. And what that's going to do is that's going to be kind of insulation. So I'll put them around the fruit trees or inside with some tarps over. The warmth of the water, it'll be kind of an insulator. Bring these inside and let them warm up in your house before you put them out there. All right, get those lids on there. Stick these here right by the door. We'll let those warm up inside since it is cold, and then we'll bring them out tonight when we're ready to cover everything. Another thing that you're gonna wanna do, make sure everything's heavily watered. It doesn't make sense because you think that that would freeze, but actually the water is sort of an insulator and will help keep the ground from becoming too frozen if you water in the right timing. So right now it's about one o'clock and I don't want this soaking wet tonight. Uh, maybe you're supposed to, I'm not sure, just what I'm reading online. I'm gonna try this and see if it can kind of protect these daikon radish here. I am watering it now and that way it's not soaking wet tonight. And these are the rows that I had tilled up here. So we'll really soak this. And of course this row as well with this radish. And it's very possible all this radish is gonna die. I mean, these temperatures are just a little low for them, but I'll do what I can. The wheat can handle it. But if that ground freezes, I have a feeling, I could be wrong, but I have a feeling that that would kill off the roots. I don't know, I don't know. I'm new to all this. Water my peach trees here. Make sure that the ground doesn't freeze around them as well. And the same goes with these beds. I'm gonna start the drip irrigation on the beds. I am also gonna water all the potted plants. I'll be moving the potted plants over there, but I'm gonna water those real quick, but I am gonna turn on the drip irrigation Get that flowing. I'll water my strawberry pot here. And I'll actually water each individual cell just to make sure everything is wet instead of doing the drip down thing. There we go. Apple tree, get nice and wet. So it does look like there's some frost damage here on my oregano. So we'll see if that makes it. I'm not sure if it will. Oregano tends to do okay, but Apparently not right now. The turnip should be all right. Might not even move it. We'll see. Definitely the leek will be fine. I definitely probably won't move the leek or the carrots. Carrots and leeks, super frost tolerant. They'll be fine. One other thing that you guys can do if you haven't already is mulch. So put mulch on top. That'll help kind of 
be an insulation barrier. If you don't have row covers, well, even if you do, it's a good idea to mulch. Now this row, I'm not gonna cover. This is leaks, they'll be totally fine. They love the cold. Or that row, I'm not gonna cover that because uh, it's onions and carrots. I'm gonna cover these. The only problem is I can't put mulch in this one because the it'll cover all the plants. They're real small, especially the carrots. Um, can't do that over here. Could on this side, sort of, it would be difficult. So I'm just gonna leave it. And I'm gonna cover this with like a bed sheet. And I've got some bed sheets that I can cover it with. And then same thing with this. It's already mulched, so that's good, but I'll cover it with a bed sheet and that would be fine. You know, one other thing I wanna mention is I just filled up a brand new uh, five gallon thing of gas. So I had a little bit left over. Gas can go bad, so um, before it went bad, I poured the rest into my gas tank and then I refilled this. So I've got a five gallon. Um, that's empty, I probably need to fill that up, but I'll see if I, if I have time today to do it. And I've got another five gallon over by my shed. So um, that's 10 gallons of gas, it's really not a whole lot. That'll run that generator that I've got for a couple days, keep the fridge running and maybe even a little space heater or something if, if power goes out. You know, it's really important guys. So uh, definitely do that if you haven't already. Get some gas. You can see we've already got some drip going here. And also my seedlings here that are outside. I've got some grow lights inside, so I'm gonna put those in the grow lights. And then once it warms up again, I can bring them back out. But these, some of these are almost ready to plant out. I've got another week or two with some of these lettuces, my cabbage and broccoli. Um, I'll be planting in about a week and a half to two weeks. So, so keep watching for that video, guys. It'll be fun. And if you guys have chickens, you're gonna to wanna to feed them some scratch grain because it has a lot of carbs in it. So while it's not high protein, um, it is something that's going to give them some energy. Um, and I'm feeding it right now. It's four o'clock. It's going to be dark in about two hours. So it'll give them a little energy through the night to help keep them, you know, warmer, get their bodies warmer. Boy, they messed up their water here. So I got to spray that out real quick. Another thing I'm doing here is I'm filling up their water. So that way there's more water in there, less chance for it all to freeze. Kind of holds insulation a little bit. Tomorrow I might have to come out and dump the whole thing anyway. I don't know, but I'm hoping this will help. Let's give them new food, make sure that they're all prepared. You know, usually you don't want to give them too much food, but right now it's cold, so I want them to eat up and have all the warmth and energy in their bodies they can have. They went through this chicken feed a little faster here in the winter than they did in the summer. There we go. A feed filled up water filled here. And one other thing I'm doing is I'm cooking some chicken right now, but I'm using this barbecue pit because that's gonna warm up this pit. And then I can line these trees, fruit trees up near it. And this is gonna kind of help keep it warm. Plus with that, the water is gonna help. So I am pounding a couple of these stakes into the ground. I don't want them really high, but this is gonna help elevate a cloth that I'm gonna put over this. Keep it up off the plants. Cause this one, I don't have the whole hoop system on. We're gonna tarp this. There's these stakes just over the stake. Oh, it's pulling those stakes. It's just a bed sheet, a queen size, fits just fine. And that's gonna keep it up off the, the plants. So that'll work. It's an old bed sheet that we don't use anymore. You could buy these also at like um, Goodwill or something if you get them cheap. Uh, you don't need nice ones, but that should cover it. Kind of fits it perfectly. They call them raised beds for a reason. I'll cover it. And none of those plants are high up, so I'm, it's not like crushing them. Another thing I'm doing for the chickens is I'm just adding a lot of hay down here. Um, that'll help insulate, help keep it warmer. Sometimes one or two degree difference makes a big difference, so. And might as well add some to the nest boxes while I'm at it. I have used the water all I need for tonight. I'm going to unhook all this. Oh, I need some to do that with. Righty tidy lefty loosey, not lefty tidy mess it up. Yeah. All right. Oh, sorry, I had you out of the thing there. So 
I'm just unhooking this, gotta make sure that this is gonna, this is not gonna freeze here. This is one of the only places where I got pipes sticking out. And then I've got this, it's a cover for it, so. All right, so this has like this thing and it hooks around here and then you just tighten it right up against there. However, I'm gonna fill this with a towel just for even more insulation. Make sure nothing's poking out on the sides. There we go. So that'll suction in and then you just tighten it with there. And there we go. Gonna insulate that. Now I've got this cover here and I've got a pipe under here. So bet you I could just stuff something in there and that'll help insulate. Let me go grab something. So people freak out out here in Texas when it gets cold after 2020 people freaked out. So I went to go get some insulation at the store, the hardware store, and they were all out. So I ran over to Walmart. Foam mattress topper. That was still there. And this should work. I mean, basically that's what insulation is. So now this is way too much for this little thing, but I can cut it down. And this is actually cheaper than the insulation, which is pretty cool. All right, there we go. So that's all insulated now. I've got one other section. Got a frog in there. Weird looking frog. So I'm mostly done. I just gotta move those trees. Um, once this barbecue pit isn't super hot, I can put the cover back on. And once I do that, then I'll move the trees. Let's see how the barbecue pit's looking. I just finished barbecuing. Looking good. Probably in the next hour, that's going to be out. We're going to pull the, hey, let's get the um, avocado back further because the avocado is probably the most likely to have an issue. So don't touch the barbecue pit. It's kind of warm. All right, good. So that we'll put there. Hold on. I've got the water jugs. I'm going to put this jug of water right next to it, pushed up right against the, the pot and then that and then we'll stick the <laughs> you both had the same idea of just it. It didn't work now i've got the the water uh, jugs in between each it's going to kind of help insulate we'll put the sheet over it once we can close off this barbecue pit but it's still a little warm still i mean it's getting cooler we still got some heat coming off this put stakes here that's going to keep from uh, this uh, you know the anything damaging this plant because it'll kind of keep it raised up over it so set a tarp up over there's no way that's eight by ten. Oh, did we go the long here we did the short way <laughs> I was like what's going on here That makes more sense right there. You want to do it down by the bottom? <sighs> well, okay. we've got a couple clips, so. So that's the end of the video. I'll bring you guys back in the next couple days and you guys can see how all this did. But thanks for watching, everyone. If you like this kind of content, please subscribe and hit that bell notification for future video updates. Also, if you could hit the like button, it would really help me and the channel out. And I will see you on the next video. Now you guys try to escape the daily grind.